Many horsemen have spent all their life working and training year-round here at Keeneland. But there's one horseman who's made this his home and his home base. And last year, it was the launching point for a championship campaign. Charlie Lopresti is the consummate horseman, hardworking and honest. And now he's the trainer of one of the top horses in the last 30 years, Wise Dan. We thought he was pretty special. He got beat the first time at Turfway. We were a little bit disappointed, but then he came back and broke his maiden by 15 lengths. 2012 was not a year to like, but to love for Lopresti and his six-year-old gelding. Five wins and six starts over six different surfaces with season earnings of more than $2.6 million. It was a campaign that started not with a grueling winter of workouts in Florida, but a winter of relaxing in the paddock at Lopresti's Central Kentucky Farm, not far from Keeneland. I mean, basically we only missed one race over the winter, and I think it did the horse good. We let his hair down a little bit, let him be a horse, and it worked for me. A lot of guys, you know, maybe it wouldn't work for them. Wise Dan began his historic run with a 10 and a half length victory in Keeneland's Ben Eli Stakes. He is back and he is back in style. Wise Dan and John Velasquez to crush the field in the Ben Eli. The only setback along the way was the Stephen Foster at Churchill Downs where Wise Dan was spotting weight and had a troubled trip. But after that, he was on his way, including a record romp in the Breeders' Cup Mile at Santa Anita. Wise Dan was voted champion turf male, champion older male, and horse of the year. The first horse to sweep all three categories since the legendary John Henry in 1981. When, you, when we went down to the Eclipse Awards and we got all three awards and we came home, it was like, man, can you imagine how lucky we are to have achieved this this year? I mean, people work all their lives to have a horse like that. So after this wild success, the invitations for Wise Dan to come and run were numerous including the big money purses of Dubai. But just as he's done in the past, Charlie Lopresti chose to stay home and get ready from his Keeneland headquarters. We're pretty fortunate to have that, and we're also fortunate to have owners that believe in that. You know, a lot of, a lot of people would have taken that horse to Dubai. Not one to change a good thing, Lopresti is planning on giving Wise Dan his first start of 2013 at Keeneland. Well, the biggest thing is I want to put him in there somewhere where I think he can win. And if he's right, which he's right now, he's really right. Um, we run him in the maker's mark that everybody's talking about. Yeah. But if I look at that race and I don't think he's 100 percent or, you know, then maybe we'll go later in the Ben Ali. Or sure. if he doesn't, maybe we won't run at all. No matter who he's saddling from his barn or what the purse, Charlie Lopresti loves to win at Keeneland. Even back when I trained horses at Calumet Farm in the 90s, to come across the street from mm -hmm. Calumet and run at Keeneland and win a race, I mean, I, I just, it's just a special feeling, Keeneland. I don't, you know, it's just different. It's, it's really different, and, and I don't know how you describe it other than it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to come in and win.